Hello and welcome to the tutorial translating with Omega T the basics. First things first, uh, Omega T is a free and open CAT tool and CAT stands yeah. for Computer Assisted Translation. So this means that Omega T cannot translate any word by itself but it does a great job supporting you. Here are the steps for this tutorial. First we're gonna prepare a source document then we switch over to Omega T and create an empty project where we import the source document into. Yeah. Then we tweak the project a little bit just to make life easier later on. And finally we are able to translate the text and this is gonna happen segment by segment but we will use some time jumping technique. In the final step uh, we will export the translated segments into the target document and the resulting document should look a lot like the original document apart from the translations, of course. So, <coughs> this is a source text file here. Unfortunately, it is in a strange closed source format, uh, which Omega T cannot process. Luckily, both LibreOffice and OpenOffice can import that format with good results. And that's how it look, looks like. As I fancy aircrafts, this tutorial's content is the P-51, which can be seen here on the right side. This document itself was created just for this tutorial, but most of the text and also the picture were taken directly from Wikipedia. As one can see, we have headings here, and the text contains bold and now also italic uh, text. Here is a list with a few items and also a small table. All of those layout changes have no special meaning, they were just created to demonstrate a halfway complex and slightly technical text document. Now let's save it in a format that Omega T can read. My choice is here is a open office text document. We save it, done, and we can quit the program. Here you can see now the original file and the OpenOffice file, which will be opened now in Omega T. Now let's take a look at Omega T. Um, since each operating system has a different install procedure, I will not cover the installation in this tutorial. I'm sorry for that and good luck, but really it is not that difficult. <laughs> However, uh, once you installed the software and started it up for the first time, you will see this screen. It is the unaltered welcome screen of Omega T, providing some guide here on the left side. However, um, nothing is loaded yet and no text was entered, so we cannot translate yet. On the left side is the main window where all the translation will take place, while on the right side there are the helpers and tools which will support you. But before we can do anything useful here, we will need some source text. So let's create a project and import the source document. So let's create the new project. First you will see a lot of options, um, but the most important ones are the source language English and the target language German. For now I will uncheck the enable sentence level segmenting. Um, I like the paragraph segmenting better, but please try it out. All the details below will leave untouched. And now we have an empty project. So there's nothing in there, so we import source file. And as I said before, Omega T can read open office document, so let's pick this one. And et voila, here we go. As you can see, there is no layout or anything. We don't need to take care of the layout. Um, it's just plain text translating. Interesting, so Omega T divided our text into 16 segments, which are paragraphs or yeah, sentences. Okay, um, I can jump to any segment by double-clicking it. Now segment number three. Here num number five, I will translate it. And you can see here the original um, source language text disappeared and was replaced by my translation. As a helper, which you should use always, 
is um, the mark untranslated segments. It will color any text blue um, which was not translated yet. So this is a great helper and you should be sure to have no blue text before f uh, finishing the project. But enough of that. Let's save it and let's quit. Back at the file system level you will recognize a newly created directory besides the original uh, text document and the uh, converted. So within this directory um, we will have the source folder and here you can find the original text which was imported and the target folder which is still empty. Um, the glossary folder is quite useful and I'm gonna drop some files here which will help us later in the translation. So um, this folder contains everything that belongs to the project, even the imported document. So you can compress it and send it over to a friend or colleague and he can work on your project. Back in Omega T we now reopen our formally saved P51 demo project and you can see it still has 16 segments and one segment was translated already. It's also not blue anymore, this one here. So, In order to make it more readable we will increase the font size to 24. Yay! And I also like to have the translation tips here. Um, those are markers who will come in handy as soon as some glossary item was detected by Omega T. As here, it is marked uh, with a blue underlining and the glossary entry is visible in the lower right. Here. So and you will also notice the markers here. They look a little bit like HTML te tags. Um, when I said that you don't need to take care of um, any layout, I lied. Um, because this is the way Omega T handles the stuff when it comes to the layout. You don't need to take care of tables or s stuff like that. But uh, as long as it is formation within the text, um, you have to use those tags. Um, you don't need to know what exactly they are, uh, whether bold or italic, because Omega T tracks them. So you just need to reuse them around the same piece of text as in the source and everything else will be fine in the final target document. Okay, um, so basically that, that's it. Um, with that you can also work, you can start um, translating and yeah, don't forget to save often. But Omega T auto saves. And while I continue to translate here, you will do the time jump. So, welcome back. I'm almost done here. And now let's take a look at the project. I will decrease the font size to get a better view. And you will notice here is a blue marker showing us um, that there is still the original text and no German uh, translation available. We will ignore this now, but as you will see, when we create the translated documents, we receive no warning. So again, please use this one here to immediately detect any untranslated segments. But for now, we created the translated document. So let's quit here and jump into the project folder and the target directory is a place to go now. And et voila! There's an open office document and as you can see the layout um, is almost the same. We have the picture here on the right, we have headings, we have some bold text, we have the italic uh, number here, the list and the table. In the middle we have some English text 
this is the only um, piece of text where the code checker, uh, the spell checker, is not going crazy about. But nevertheless, it's really impressive, and I liked to work with Omega T because of that. And I hope you enjoy it too, and you like it too.